I currently have five 48 volt off-grid systems on my property. I'm Seth with DIY Volts. Let's do a quick overview of all five of my 48 volt off-grid systems that I have here on the property. I've got two of them behind me, one in a four-wheeler shed, one in my other shop, and then one in the house. So let's go ahead and start this tour. The first 48 volt off-grid system is here in my workshop or studio space. I have the Lux Power 18K, which can accept 18,000 watts of solar and output 12,000 watts, 6,000 watts on both sides of the 240. So this machine right here is able to run my entire workshop, no problem whatsoever. I actually probably could even have this up in my house instead of down here because it is able to do so much power output. But this unit right here was provided for one of my YouTube channels and it has been quite the workhorse. I have put oh about four or 5,000 watts on this machine uh, at one time and it doesn't even phase it, no problems whatsoever. The battery that this is connected to is the Big Battery Ethos. It's a 15 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery and it has worked flawlessly with this machine. Let's go over some of the specs real quick. First off, I have approximately 2,000 watts of solar that come up and around and go into the bottom of the Lux inverter. It does have a Wi-Fi dongle here so I can check the information on the app. If I open up the cabinet here, we can see the internal workings. I've got a data cable right here going to the battery. Here's the 2000 watts of solar input. It's got two different cables for the battery because it can pull 200 amps. And then over here, I have simply got the ground neutral and then the two legs of the hot over here on the uh, load one, load two. And that currently is just going out from a 10 gauge extension cable, which will be soon changed over to a hard wire. Um, so now it's going over to a transfer switch, as you can see right here. But uh, here in the near future, I will be bringing uh, most likely eight gauge out of here to go around and hardwire into this transfer switch. This is the Haven 10. It's a goal zero, but basically it's the same thing as the uh, ProTrans transfer switch. And you can um, have up to uh, 10 slots. And basically what a transfer switch does, it takes the breakers. So instead of being over here on the grid, it uh, allows you to flip between the uh, off grid and having an off state and then grid power for any of those circuits. So for example, in the winter time, I turn this one to the grid and it allows me to use a heater instead of uh, using it on off the grid power, it uses on the grid power. Now the battery is the Ethos from Big Battery and it comes in four different sections. The bottom three are battery and the top one is a control box. And that's what uh, has the uh, BMS information in it and also allows you to connect the cables there to go over here to the uh, inverter. So this system right here has been in place and working flawlessly now for about, I'm going to say four or five months. And I have been thoroughly pleased with this setup. So the cost, this right here is about a $5,000 battery. The Lux Power 18K, I believe is pushing around $6,000 maybe a little more. And then the transfer switch is about five to 600 right there. And that is basically what you need to run a house or a shop off grid. Now the uh, solar I've got is 2000 Watts coming off of a hill in the back of the building here. And um, the transfer switch isn't necessary. You could have used this as a critical loads panel, been off grid totally. Um, but it's also nice to be able just to swap over whenever you need to and use the power here uh, from the grid or off the grid. One nice thing that sets the Lux Power 18K apart from other inverters is the amazing menu system and functionality of what you can see here. So currently I've got 372 watts from solar. This building is consuming 621 watts. Battery is at 99%. Uh, I've seen up to 2000 watts here come in, so definitely recharges the battery quickly. But if I go into my settings, you can see here, there are just tons and tons of settings that can be changed. And uh, it's, you can really lock this thing down to exactly what you need it to do. 
One nice thing about the Lux Power Inverters is you can use the app to see what's going on. So currently I have 1,470 watts coming in and I also have uh, 623 watts going out. The battery is 99% full and you can see all kinds of good information on this app. I can also go to the one that's over here in my other shop and see that it currently has 105 watts coming in from solar and 40 watts being consumed there uh, by the system. The other 48 volt off-grid system that I have running here in my studio or workshop space is the Orient Power System. The inverter up here is a 6,500 watt, 120 volt output inverter with a five kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This system is a bit more affordable, although the battery is not nearly as big as the Ethos over here at five kilowatt hours versus the 15 that's over here. I do have 1000 watts of solar coming in right here, and that is going to charge through the inverter to the battery. And this is a 120 volt output, so you're not able to connect it directly to a transfer switch unless you have linked your left and right loads together, then you could do that. Um, you just couldn't run any 240 volt circuitry. This system is hardwired to a couple of breakers. So I have some dedicated circuits here in my workshop and those run directly off of this. I've been able to easily run a table saw and some other lights without any issues whatsoever. The uh, system is very easy to install. You have MC4 connectors over here for your solar, and then you just have basic uh, output on some terminal screws inside of this. There are plenty of settings. You can charge through solar, through the grid, and you can charge through uh, other means as well. But the primary thing I use it for is with the solar panels outside. I'm here in my top shop to show you another off-grid system. First, I have the Lux Power 6K. This inverter has a 240 volt output capable of 6,000 watts. So I can have 120 volt circuits or combine for a 240 volt load. I also have hardwired this into a transfer switch similar to the way I did down in my other shop. Down below here is the Big Battery Rhino 2. This is a 15 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It's very heavy at 309 pounds. So I've been using this system for about two months and it has worked flawlessly. I've been very happy with it. The inverter also has app access, just like the one down there in the other shop. Taking a quick look at this inverter, you can see it's very similar to the one down there, only smaller. The menu system isn't quite as intuitive as the other one, but you can still get here and see. So for instance, I got 270 watts coming in and it's a 50 amp hour battery. PV currently is 2.6 kilowatt hours for today and uh, batteries at 100%. So this also has the Wi-Fi dongle over here, as you saw in the other one. And I have hardwired to use this transfer switch over here with four different breakers. So I'm able to run uh, 240 loads off of that if I needed to. The battery down here is the Rhino 2 from Big Battery. I've got everything uh, blocked off right now, but I can show you what it looks like inside of there for the battery connections. And then over here, there is an LCD screen, and I've got uh, 1,000 watts of solar coming into this unit right here. The box on top is sold separately, but it allows you to uh, get your cables out of view and uh, look just a little bit prettier there. So this system right here, I have been uh, using for about two months and I primarily run a saw off of it with some lights and I charge some other batteries for different tools, but it has been very nice to be able to use this out here and uh, not have to worry about the power being out while I'm working. The next off-grid system is here in my lawnmower shed. I run some lights and a couple of receptacles in this system here. I've got the SRNE 5000 watt 120 volt inverter paired with the Ruxu rack battery. This is a 5 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery designed to be stacked together with more batteries in a rack system. So I've been using this system now for about one month. I uh, just installed it and it has been doing quite well. I have paired this with 1000 watts of solar and it seems to be more than I need to run my lights here and whatever I'm plugging into receptacles. The SRNE inverter is a small box, but it is powerful. Over here on the side, it's got a breaker to turn on and off the unit. 
There's also a power switch down up under here that you have to activate, but you can easily click through some menus here and see what we've got going on. So if I scroll down here, we can see today we've had 1.5 kilowatt hours. Currently we only have uh, 100 watts coming in to the battery and we're consuming 64 watts as you can see right there. Um, but this charges up with uh, about, I think it's a thousand watts of solar coming in and it goes over here to the Ruxu battery. And this is a rack battery so you can easily uh, mount this into a rack system and have a bunch more battery power. Um, but you can see down here, state of charge is full and uh, it just comes out of these little cables right here and I'd easily be able to run 5,000 watts off of this system. But uh, mostly I just use it for some lights and if I need to plug up something to charge, it's just nice to have power out here. Keep in mind that this system is not designed to be charged below freezing and so I turn the system off whenever it's winter time. This off-grid system is the Vestwoods system. It was sent to me for a review and I have installed it into my house and it's been running here for over a year. I have pushed two megawatts of solar power into this system. What I have up here is the 8K 240 volt inverter, which means it has uh, power on both sides, leg one and two, and I can run 240 volt circuits or 120 volt and it can do up to 8,000 watts. It's paired with a 15 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This battery was about 280 pounds and quite heavy to move here into the house. First off, I have 6,000 watts of solar power and I do have some surge protection devices down here. And that goes into the inverter over here, which then charges the battery. So this battery right here is a 15 kilowatt hour battery and it's just got the two cables, which seems to work out just fine. I've not had any issues. This battery does have communication with the inverter. Now the only problem I have had with this is I did not ground my solar panels at one point and I had some lightning to take out the, uh, or to, to just restart the inverter, but it was no real issue. Now this system is different from the others I showed before because instead of having a transfer switch, I have a critical loads panel. So all of these circuits here are completely off grid. If my inverter stops working, I would have to pull those out and move them over here into my other breaker, uh, as you can see over here. And so uh, it's definitely different. I have completely isolated all of these circuits um, over here into this. The only thing that's not plugged up to the inverter is my hot water, my cooking stove, my well water, and my HVAC system. So everything else is totally off-grid. My house system also has an app that can be used to see what's going on. For instance, the battery state of charge is 99%. Today's solar is 6.48 kilowatt hours, and the current production is 1.16 kilowatt hours. This also has a few things you can get into and look at. For instance, here is the current flow. I can also move down here and see the graph of uh, solar input versus consumption by the battery which is nice to see as well. And there's all kinds of information. Like it'll tell you that it's been kind of a cloudy day today and it's nice to have that. So if you're on the go, you can look to see what your house or workshops are doing using these apps. I hope you found some helpful information on this basic overview of my five off-grid systems here on the property. The very first one that I installed was the house system and that has been so nice. There was a big storm even last night that the uh, grid power flickered a few times. Refrigerator, computer, internet, TV, all of them still working just fine. So it is nice to have that backup. Now with this system out here, this is a very nice machine with a very nice battery. It is silent until you get 6,000 watts going through it and then you'll hear the fans kick on. So that is a big plus. If you're looking for a system that is nice and quiet, definitely go with this Lux 18K right here. The Orient Power System, it is a nice system. It's a little bit uh, on the loud side, and uh, I guess it has some limitations being only 120 volt output. Now the system I have over in my four-wheeler shed, that one is also just 120 volt output. And for the application I have, just running some lights and a few uh, receptacles in that building, no problem whatsoever. Um, only upgrade I would really want is to have communications with the battery, but with as little as I use that spot, should be just fine. 
I will have links to all these products in the description down below if you want to check out any or all of them. I'm Seth with DIY Volts, and I will see you in the next video.